Hey guys, what's up? It's Christine Seal, the high level queen. Do DNS settings get you down? Well, guess what? I'm going to show you guys how to set them up the right way and the easy way today. So let's get started. So for those of you guys who don't know, we actually have a free Facebook group called Marketing Agency Automation Secrets, where we give away hundreds of dollars in free trainings every single week to our members. So click the link below to go check that out. Okay, step one, you wanna go to settings and then domains, okay? Now you're gonna add your domain here and you can see that you can either do an A record pointing to this IP or a C name pointing to funnels.messagesender.com. So if you're doing a C name, you're gonna just type it here and then you're gonna copy this link here to your clipboard, okay? Then I'm gonna show you how to do it in GoDaddy because I think a lot of people use GoDaddy. So go over to GoDaddy, log in, Go to your domain manager. You're going to be able to click your name in the corner and go to the domain manager. Then you're going to click on your domain here. Then it's going to pull up a page. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and click on manage DNS. Then you're going to see all these DNS records here. And what you're going to do is click add. You're going to go C name. Then you're going to type just test no domain you do not want to type your domain again because if you do it's not going to work trust me that's not how this works you just type the c name that's it no domain okay then you're going to paste in there and you're going to click save now i will tell you guys do not be impatient because it takes up to 72 hours to propagate DNS. What that means is the time it takes for the DNS records to be reflected across the entire internet. So if you're impatient like me, go to whatsmydns.net and then you can type your whole C name and change it to C name like that and click search. And it's going to tell you across the world if your DNS has been propagated, okay? So it says that mine has, and I actually set up this record a little bit ago, so it's already done and set up, okay? So that's how you add a C name to your domain records. Then if you wanna go back to high level and actually um, tie it to a funnel or a website, you're going to click this little pencil and then you're going to click on the default home page that you want to use for this C name. So that next time when you go into this C name, it actually pulls up the website. Now, sometimes you have to go into websites and edit it, go to settings and choose the domain here as well. Okay. Sometimes you have to do both. I don't know why you just do. Okay. So that is how you set up DNS records in the quick and easy way. Okay. And I hope this helped you guys make sure to like, and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from me and go check out our free Facebook group and where you can get access to snapshots, pitch, de pitch decks, SOPs, and all the resources that you need for your agency. I'll see you next time. Uh -huh.